Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of It Could Have Been Simple But Wasn't. I start the watch off searching for Fuel Ecomain Engine 2 while that's still on the board, then move swiftly onto a harbour generator that's clearly not very happy. Try to give Chris a hand with a job that should have been simple but turned into a nightmare. And to try and get an easy win in for the night watch, I fit some parts that have just arrived on board and end up disappointed. As always, save the best to last and enjoy one of my favourite activities, spending time working on the main engines. And as you're here, please could you help me expand the channel by hitting like or subscribe. Good morning everyone. New day, new watch. It's about 10 to 1 in the morning, so Chris and I have already been at it for just shy of an hour. Now, I was walking through the engine room and I could smell diesel coming from main engine 2. Now, it would, might seem really stupid. It's a diesel engine, of course, it's going to smell a little bit of diesel, but uh, I think I've said this in one of the previous videos. Being in the engine room is a very um, sensory rich environment and it's always good to pay attention to, to hunches or to things that you can smell or hear or th things that you think you can feel. I know there's no serious leaks, we also don't have any leakage alarms active. Uh, if there was a serious leak obviously my first concern wouldn't be to come and grab the camera and start talking but I thought it would be cool to show you and I, I always get like a real, <laughs> I get a real buzz from standing on top of an engine that's uh, running. What is the harbour generator saying? Battery voltage. So let's see if the engine is happier. Battery voltage. What? Bugs sake. Right, uh, I just set myself a 30 minute timer and uh, I'm going to go back and have a look. I'll check the battery voltages then because I've just put the uh, put the charging unit on boost see if that'll improve the situation Ooh. <laughs> looks like uh, Chris is about to pull a preheat unit out of one of the lube ball separators so I'm just gonna do something quickly here and then I'll uh, go down and have a look see what he's up to Level, isn't it? Alright, I'm not going to uh, butt in too much on Chris's work, but we'll see. We've got a little bit of uh, footage of us trying to get this out. What this is is a, a heating element. And basically, we use it to heat up the oil before the oil then goes through the purifier. Now, one of the plant maintenance jobs is every couple of months we have to inspect these, uh, these heating elements. And it basically involves lifting this whole section up and out. Should be a nice simple job to do, but uh, this one has turned into an absolute pig. It will not come out. It is stuck on something. And um, certainly the, the top two inches of it look reasonably clean. So. It's not leading us to believe that it's uh, it's choked with baked on oil, but the short of it is we're going to wait for the chief to come down in about an hour's time and then uh, get his thoughts on the matter. It's, uh, it's a bit shit, but that's what it is. Ooh, so I was going to have a look at the battery charges. It's alright. 
<laughs> it's, it's not okay. So, let's take it off boost. So, I have in my hand a gauge glass, well, not a gauge glass, a, uh, a level glass for the technical freshwater hydrofoil. At some point, the one that was fitted got broken. Been waiting for this to arrive so that we can fit it. So that's what I'm gonna try and do quickly. <laughs> that was short lived. Right length, wrong diameter. It won't fit. Such is life. We don't just have one fuel pump. Um, all right, okay, there are going to be some engines with pump rails, but on these engines, we've got one fuel pump for each cylinder. Now, there is a fuel rack in front that basically controls how much fuel is going into each unit, uh, in, ideally in unison, and they're uh, individually adjusted. But the point is, there's, um, there's moving parts, and as the engine is running, you, uh, you tend to get a little bit of uh, stickiness or dirt gumming up the uh, gumming up the linkages. Check that it's actually moving freely. That one is. Start air compressor just stopping. I'm just gonna work my way down the engine. You can actually see it's sticking so much it's moving the whole rest of the fuel rack. They are, except one, fine. The other one is sticking so much it's moving the whole rest of the fuel rack. So what I'm gonna do is split the linkage, clean everything, re-lubricate it, put it all back together, and then check that it's uh, nice and smooth. on the main engine that I just did, so simple. It is so, so simple. It's just a case of lubricating, um, but I do love it. Uh, I, I, I love getting to work on the main engines. Never, never really gets old. Um, I reckon I'll probably call it quits uh, for the episode as well. I think I've got a few days of days of footage to, to chop in on, uh, on the memory card, but I do hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for tuning in. So I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Till then, take care.